Hi YouTube family, such a wonderful blessed morning this morning that God allowed us another day. Thank God for it, I do. Well, this morning guys, I'm going to pre be presenting you the breakfast that I am cooking. I will be cooking this today, bacon. Yeah, could y'all see that bacon? Oh, name brand guys, Tennessee. What? Pride. All right, we balling now. Okay, and also, I was going to do waffles or either pancakes, but I looked in the cabin and I said, why not go ahead and make muffins this morning? Very simple. Yes, Jiffy Mix. Jiffy Mix muffins. Yes, blueberry. Okay, guys. Hi. You know I couldn't get around that. See that five minutes? Great value style. Yes, you know I love my great value grits, guys. And also... I'm gonna be great value eggs all day long. Who don't buy these? Everybody buy these guys. So this is what I'll be cooking today. This will be my breakfast this morning. For me and one of the girls, I cooked earlier this morning for the husband. He had pancakes, bacon, and eggs this morning. So I'm not cooking that. So this is what I'll be cooking. Of course, guys, you know, great value salt. Everybody use it. Only difference about it is not sea salt. I don't know what the difference that you could taste up in the salt because I can't. Only sea salt. But this is what I use. Of course, sure a lot of other people use it too. And this is what I'll be using to put in my eggs and also grease the salt and the pepper. And you know, I have to let y'all see what I'm going to mix my stuff up in. Yeah. I got one more bowl that I got to use, you know, to mix my um. Muffin mix in. Okay, of course, this is going to be for the eggs. Try to be careful not get a shell up in the eggs. I have done that before, and they're like, oh, I feel crazy. You, didn't, you got a shell in the eggs. But, yeah, that's that. And you know what, guys? I might even turn it. Look at that. Y'all seen it? I did it. Yeah, I just talked about it, and I did it. What about that? Don't laugh at me, guys. Because it was an honest mistake, but guess what? I got it out and it wasn't no, it dropped the way it dropped down, so I know it ain't no shells up in there. But, try not to do that one again. I might even turn this into an omelet by putting a little bit, I know I have to be extra. I might put a little bit of um, ham, not ham because I don't have ham, nobody eat ham but me for real. Um, a little turkey up in there, a little bit of tomatoes up in it, and also a little bell peppers. I can't put onion because my baby don't like onions. But yeah, this is my bowl for this. Put a little black pepper in there. Oh, of course, I got the great value salt. I'm going to put that up in there. But look, that one ain't open. I had to show y'all that one because the wrap's still on this one. This one right here, the wrap came off of it. So this salt too. That's enough of that salt. Okay, and next I'm going to be coming with my Jiffy Mix. Put that up in there. And it calls for the ingredients to put up in here for this. It's one egg, one fourth cup of milk. To go in there, the oven preheats for 400 and bake it for 13 to 15 minutes. But I'm not going to do the 15 minutes because some you can over bake it. I just usually do the 13 minutes and that's what I would do. It even have ingredient in on here for coffee cake, how you can mix it and do it for a coffee cake. Some people add extra blueberries, extra stuff to it. You know, I usually do that too when I'm doing my Jiffy mixed cornbread. I usually add, add like an extra ingredient to it, which is flour. And it calls for one egg, guys. Oh, that was good. One egg. And I got to get my milk. And I shall return. Okay, guys. I was trying to find my little cups, my little measuring um, cups that I have. So I'm going to pull out this. And I could have used the measuring cups, but I'm going to go ahead and use this because it say the same. Neither one of them. I cannot find the one-fourth cup. 
measuring um, cup and I have a small one, so I'm gonna have to use this. And when I look at this, it go up to liters on this side. On this side, it have the what you call it, but oh well. I'm not gonna do it over because I know if you do too much up in it, you will mess it up. And that means too much liquid up in there. It's not going to do right. And this is the milk I'm using. Okay. It ain't even one third. Let me pull it a bit more. I just, sometimes I just do it, just measure what I think it should be, just a little. But I'm just going to, by me being up doing my video, I have to try to do it right. So this is what I'm using. Okay, that may be too much. I'm going to leave it like that. Because one thing about it, when you're doing muffins, you don't want them too soupy. Because for one, if you put too many ingredients in it, it's not going to be right. And it's not going to turn out right. Your muffins is not going to taste like they should taste. So I'm not going to do that. This is what I'm using. So whip it on up. You know how you're in the kitchen looking for stuff and you got to scramble to find it? I don't like that. So that means I got to get on my game and I got to do a little bit more shopping for my kitchen stuff. It look like it come up missing or something. But I don't know. But anyway, when I can't find something, kind of get on my nerves a little bit. I know y'all know how that is. But yeah, I did just right with the milk. Because you don't want your stuff too super. See that? That's not too super. When it's watered down, it takes all the ingredients that taste away from it. So... That's why you have to measure stuff and not overdo it. Because sometimes I overdo it. That's why it's good to use your measuring cups and have measuring cups. Because that's what you need to make sure you, your recipe go right. Just like they said. And if you're going to overdo it and redo something, just add. Know what you're going to add to it so it'll have a good taste to it. Just don't overdo the recipe. See that? It's not super. Super is water down. You wouldn't even be able to tell it's not water down. Next, I'm going to whip my eggs up because I'm going to probably, like I said, I'm going to cut my stuff up for my underlay. But I'm just going to do a small. I'm not going to overdo it because sometimes, you know me, I go crazy with it. But I'm not going to overdo all the meat because I'm already cooking bacon and sausage and these muffins. I'm going to use my muffin pans. Muffin pan, I'm going to put the muffin on cups up in there also be right back look guys water already boiling for the grits water is ready for the grits to go in there i have to put my butter in the water i think i'm gonna have a little busy day today try not to do too many much and i might try to make these a little big Spray it down with this. I hope I got enough up in this can so I'm going to spray it down. Hey, look at that. What about that? What about that, guys? What about it? It just was enough. I sprayed too much. I almost enough. That's all right. I'm going to give me some more today. Don't laugh at me. Do not laugh at me, guys. Uh-oh, let me scrub it up. You don't stand back for that stuff. It'll have you choking like. Don't want to overfill it. Let it run over. Don't want to do that. Y'all, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And leave me some comments and views at the bottom. Uh-oh, guess what? I can't overfill it, right? So what I'm going to have to do? What am I going to have to do? I'm going to have to use another muffin cup. And God knows, I hope this don't overflow when I put it in the oven. And this reminds me, I'm trying to think of something that I can do for Halloween. I don't do Halloween for real, but it's for the kids that I can make some... Looking some kind of cupcakes or something for them. For my kids, for my grandkids and my kids. A lot of people, when they trick or treat, it's smart to be safe. You know, how people do. You shouldn't give other people children. You know what? Um, 
you could get them a close item like candy or something that's, you know, wrapped up good and stuff. You know, I love the kids. But when I cook and bake, I do it for my kids, you know, during Halloween time or whatever, and buy other stuff for the other children. But, you know, we don't have trick-or-treaters around, around here, you know, mostly grown people in the neighborhood. In this neighborhood, you know, people just, children, don't see no children. They older now. They don't trick-or-treat. But just something fun for the house. I'm going to probably do some kind of um, cupcakes for the house, some kind of fun cupcakes around the house. If I do it, I'll see it. But see, guys, look, let's talk about this. That's done. Now I'm going to put it in the oven. Okay, guys, I am back. Look, the eggs now. Put them legs up. That's what you got to do. Y'all know me. Here I am. Y'all seen my sub sandwiches last night, and it's so hey. This is what I'm cut up in the eggs. I like do it separately and let the um let them cook out and chop it up when the egg is getting ready. I might just still do it like that. See, guys, that's what I'm using. But I said bell peppers, didn't I? Yes, I did say that. Look, water already boiling for the grits. Finna get ready to put them grits up in now, guys. Bell peppers, guys. Cut them up just a little. My baby don't like all these, and I think I have too many already. I tried to cut them up really, really little, but I'm not going to put the rest of it up in there. Only the little that I have right now because she don't like them. She don't like all the extra stuff up in her food. But when you're cooking an umbly, you know I always will go on the umbly. You can go crazy with an umbly and put what you want. Bacon bits, all that kind of stuff, guys. And I might even put a little bacon bits up in there. But what I need to do is get that 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 rolling right there, my sausage and stuff. That's what I need to do. I'm going to head and turn that down for that. It ain't going to take long for the stuff to cook. This is the bell peppers. That's that, guys. Sausage cooking. Look at that. They won't take long. Tennessee pride. Now, guys, you know, every time I cook, like, pork, bacon, ribs, whatever, this is always what I use. The vinegar. Put vinegar always. I put it on my pork yes guys I tried to let y'all see what I'm doing when I'm cooking and this is what I'm doing I'm stirring my bread this is my skillet it is ready for my eggs to go up in I just try to let y'all see a little stuff what I'm doing when I'm cooking you know so it won't be off camera but y'all see what I'm doing I'm cooking my sausage is boiling I mean sausage not boiling but or frying, and I'm about to get ready to take them off of the skillet and put my bacon up in the skillet. That's what I try to do. Let y'all see a little bit of some of what I'm doing. Look what's done, y'all. Look. Look at them. They are done and ready. Look at them. Y'all see them, guys? Look. Those are the muffins, the blueberry muffins. Yep, they are done. Okay, guys, this is my skitty for my egg. You ready to put y'all sit in the fire coming from this cast iron skillet? Hey, I ain't gonna sit in no fire though. But this is going in. And guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put all my little ingredients in now. That bacon show is cooking. Look at that bacon cooking. Oh, 
Should I bake and cook?